Hello everyone, I am CA Manoj Sabat. So in this video, we will be discussing how to find the beta by using the market data. Right, so we shall take the market data and then we shall find out the beta. So please follow, my, follow the instructions which I am telling you here in this video. So I have opened Google or you can open any other browser which you are using. So you can get the data from any website like BSC, NSE. So I'm taking the BSC website and I'm opening the BSC website. So whenever you open the BSC website, it will direct you the official page of the Bombay Stock Exchange where you can find the full data. Right. So in this section, I'm going to the market data and products and here I'm selecting the market data. Now, after clicking the market data, it will guide into a page where I can find this, this page, which you can see on the screen. So I can have the details about the equity and about the index and about the public issues, the OFS means offers to sell buyback and about the listing details, equity derivatives, currency derivatives and other areas. But for the calculation of beta, we require the details of the stock as well as for the market. Right. First, I will go to the equity segment and here I will try to download the historical data. Now, this beta you can find out either for short term or for long term. The procedure is same, only the data will vary. Right. So, I am taking the historical prices. So, I am scrolling down and I can, uh, you can see here the historical stock prices. Right. I am zooming it. Here you can see the historical stock prices. So, I am just clicking on the historical stock prices. It will guide into another sheet where I have this type of interface. So here you can see the stock prices and uh, here there is a segment you can select T1 uh, T, uh, T plus one day uh, equities or you can uh, take this T plus zero or uh, debt and uh, you can see here the ETFs or the mutual funds but I require the data for a share means for the equity shares. So in this segment, I need to type the name of the company. So let us say I'm doing this for any company which comes to my mind. Um, let us say Tata Motors. Or shall we take any other company? Or let us take Reliance Industries. So I have taken in uh, Reliance Industries and here in this video, I will be showing you how to calculate the data and I will be calculating the short uh, like uh, uh, short term beta, short term beta, which means the beta which is calculated for the data using less than one year, right? So if I want the daily uh, details of the stock, right? Uh, I'll be clicking here the daily segment. Alternatively, you can take the monthly segment or you can also take the weekly segment. Generally for short term beta, we take the daily segment and we uh, daily data and we find out the uh, compute the beta so if it is for more than a year then preferably we take monthly or we'll take weekly now here we are computing the short term beta so we can take the daily prices okay so let us say i'm taking from first uh let us say we'll take let us do the calculation of the beta for three months. Okay. Yeah, that would be better than taking very less data. So let us take, find out the beta for the Reliance Industries for three months. So this month is September. So August and July. So I will be taking today's date is September 22nd. Let me take the data from uh, 22nd of July. So July 22nd. I have selected the date from date and in two section. So I'll be taking 22nd September that is today's today's date. And I'll just west, uh, press the submit button. So after I press the submit button here, I can see the data uh, that it has been created for three months for Reliance Industries, right? So here you can see Realize Industries Limited and the period is taken from 22nd July 2025 to 22nd September 2025. So I'll download this 
Why? Because I want this data in the Excel format. So here you can see there is a download button. So I have just downloaded it and I have opened it. So whenever I open, I can find this data. So I will just adjust the date. So and I will see whether the data, uh, the dates are OK or not. And see, there's a lot of data that has been downloaded. But for our calculation of beta, we don't require all these columns. We just require the closing price, right? So that so I'm deleting all this data. So a data bhi mujhe nahi chahiye. So I'm just deleting the data. And see, here you can see the dates are in uh, this descending order. Means from 22nd and then followed by 19, 18, 17, it is there. But let us try to take the data from the date that we have selected from July to September. Let us take it is September to July, right? It is in the reverse order. Let us change this order. So for which I'm changing the order, going to data and then just I'm pressing this sort button. So automatically I can see that uh, the dates has been adjusted and accordingly my prices also has been adjusted, right? So I will once check, I'll zoom it. So here I can see the data has been aligned date wise. And once I'll go to the end and I will see what is there. Yeah, so the date and the closing price has come here. So let me delete this and let us come back to the first. I'll insert a cell here. And just here I will write the date. And so we have taken the Reliance company. So Reliance Industries closing. So this is the closing uh, values of the company that I have taken. So now we require the market data, right? So again, I'm going to the market data segment and here I'm selecting now indices, right? So in the indices also, you can see that I'm selecting the historical prices of the indices, right? So like we have selected for the share, we need to also do the same thing by taking the same dates, same dates that we have taken for Reliance company share. So we need to also take for the index, right? So in this index, you can take any index. Why? Because index is a representation of the entire market, right? So index is the representation of the entire market. So I need not take the entire market data. If I take the index automatically, it is representing the entire market, right? So let me take this BSC Sensex. And uh, since I have taken daily in case of Reliance Industries here also, I need to take daily and I need to select the date. So I have taken July, July 22nd, right? So same dates I need to give here also. And today's date and I'll press the submit button. So whenever I press the submit button, I will be getting the data. And since I want this in the Excel format, so I will be just downloading it here, right? Right side segment here, you can see my cursor here. I'm downloading it. It has been downloaded. Let me open the Excel sheet. It is not getting opened. It has already opened that we have not seen. So here on the screen, you can see that it has been downloaded as per our requirement from 25th, 22nd July. And the last date is 22nd September. That is today's date. Okay. Now here we don't want the full data. We want only the closing price. So let us just copy this and let us go to the other Excel sheet and just paste here. Right. So here I have the closing values of the Reliance company and also BSC Sensex closing. Closing. Okay. Right. So here you can see I have the closing of the Reliance company shares as well as the closing prices of the BSC Sensex. Now, in order to compute our beta, as I told you in the earlier video, we require standard deviation of Reliance company and also we required standard deviation of, of BSC Sensex. And then I require correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficient between Reliance company and uh, and BSC Sensex. Right. 
now actually we should have taken the formulas here but in excel we are already having uh, those formulas so directly we can do the computation okay so you just observe what i'm pressing here is equal to just i have opened the brackets sorry first formula right so standard deviation and uh, back bracket is already open so i want the standard deviation of this entire uh, prices but here i should be very very careful i cannot take directly the prices right so this is a wrong computation we can't take here the directly prices right now what we require we require the daily returns right we require what the daily returns see daily return is nothing but the increase or the decrease of the security the percentage of increase or decrease in the value of the security when compared to the previous day right so for that i require what is the percentage change of reliance company right reliance company and also i want the percentage change of the bsc sensex right i want the percentage change of the lens company as well as i want the percentage change in the sensex now this percentage change gives me how much the share has increased or decreased when compared to the previous day right for which i need to apply a formula here right it is nothing but today's price minus yesterday's price divided by yesterday's price see today's price minus yesterday's price if i do i will be getting what the amount of change but if i want in percentage i need to compare that with the previous year means the previous uh, dates closing balance right for which i need to divide so in order to find out the percentage change i will be taking here is equal to open the brackets so today's price minus yesterday's price close the bracket divided by yesterday's price now this gives me what is the percentage of the increase or the decrease when compared to yesterday now sir why have you not done here you may ask a question here to do this i require the data of the date which is earlier than 22nd july which means i require 21st july but we have downloaded the data from 22nd july right so for 22nd july we can't do this computation to do this computation we require 21st july's data right which have which we have not downloaded so let us do it for 23 onwards now this should be done for all the dates so i just have done the double click of it so automatically the formula gets applicable to all the data now here you can see there are some values where you can see minus now here the minus indicates what the decline the percentage of decline in the share if it is positive it indicates what the increase in the value of the share when compared to the previous day are you all clear here now the same thing has to be done for the bsc sensex which means the market the market index also right so here i'm again applying the same formula so open the brackets today's price minus yesterday's price divided by divided by yesterday's price so this will give me the percentage of increase or decrease in the market right this will give me what the percentage of increase or decrease in the market now i can apply this for all the other dates by simply double clicking it here also the positive sign indicates see positive the plus nahi hai iska matlab ye hota hai ki positive hai right so here the positive indicates the percentage of increase and the minus indicates the percentage of decrease okay So are we all clear up to here? Now, can I take Nifty 50 here? Yes, I can take any index here which is representing the entire market. Right, so Nifty 50 is also the representative of the entire market. Okay, so here you can take any index that is representing the entire market. So this is the percentage of change in the Reliance company and this is the percentage of change in the bsc sensex okay which is nothing but the market so now let us try to compute our standard deviation
standard deviation of the reliance company we can just apply the formula here is equal to standard deviation and i need to select the data of the reliance company so control shift and down arrow so i have selected it and just press the enter i'll be getting the standard deviation of the reliance company and then the same thing will also should also be done to our bsc sensex so just press standard deviation formula and then just select the percentage of change in case of the market just press enter you will be getting the standard deviation of the market and now the correlation coefficient can directly be found out by using the formulas formula just correlation coefficient and then open the bracket and automatically the bracket gets opened you just select the data of our share and market right so first i have selected the share and then comma and then i have selected the market data okay and just have closed the bracket and press the enter i got this correlation coefficient between the reliance company share and the market and next i need to apply the beta formula so what is our beta formula it is nothing but the standard deviation of the security divided by standard deviation of the market into correlation coefficient of the security and the market so we'll apply the same formula here so standard deviation of the share divided by standard deviation of the market just i'm taking this in brackets and then multiplied by multiplied by the correlation coefficient of the share and the market i just press the enter so i got the beta as 1.215541 right so here from this i can make some interpretation that beta here it is greater than 1 now what happens if beta is greater than 1 what does it indicate as i told you that beta indicates the relative measure of the risk which means if beta is greater than 1 it means the percentage change in the market or sorry the percentage change in the share will be greater than the percentage change in the market okay which means if the market changes by one time then the reliance company share will be changing by 1.21 times isn't it now it indicates what high volatility means more than the market change your security is changing much more higher it indicates how the share is very very volatile in this three months okay so this is the computation of the beta and this can be also done by taking the underlying data which is greater than one year also right which is called as the long term date a uh, long term beta okay now let me also explain what happens if it, the beta is less than one why because here we got beta greater than one so this is the interpretation if the beta is less than one it means the percentage change in the security will be less than the percentage change in the market means if the market increases by one percentage then your security will be also increasing but not by one percentage less than one percentage right now there is another concept which is called as beta is equal to one it means the percentage change in the market will be equal to the percentage change in the security means market and security will move equally right here change ka matlab ye nahi hota hai ki increase change ka matlab increase bhi ho sakta hai decrease bhi ho sakta hai right market can also increase market can also decrease so i use the word here the word change okay and next beta can also be negative now the negative beta indicates the reverse movement between the share and the market which means if the market increases then your share will be decreasing isn't it so if your market decreases then your share will be increasing means there will be a reverse movement between the share and the market or market and the share right so this is all about your beta computation have a nice time so if you want any other topics please mention in your comments right so please subscribe my channel thank you so much have a nice time